Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. If nothing else, cats are weird, in the best way possible. From their personality quirks to their downright strange behaviors, cats aren't always the easiest to understand. That's why we thought it would be helpful to explain some of their weirdest behaviors. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss 10 weird things your cat does when they see you and why they do them. Number one, stretching when they greet you. Cats are naturally agile and flexible creatures, and stretching is a natural form of exercise for them. However, many cat guardians notice that their cats specifically stretch as a greeting when they see their owners. This behavior can seem a bit strange, but it mostly has positive connotations. Stretching when they see you is a good sign that your cat is feeling content. It is often interpreted as a sign of trust, affection, or just as a greeting. While it isn't necessarily a greeting that we are used to, it should be welcomed as a sign that your cat loves you. It could also be interpreted as an invitation to play or spend time together. Though the exact reasoning behind stretching as a greeting is not fully understood, it is generally thought of as a positive thing. Number two, following you to the bathroom. There are a few different reasons why your cat may follow you to the bathroom, most of which are about the allure of the bathroom itself. While the bathroom may not seem glamorous to us, it is full of things of interest to your cat. First of all, cats instinctively love running water. Their wild ancestors relied on running water as it was much more likely to be clean and safe to drink than still water. So your cat is naturally drawn to running water and the bathroom is full of it. From the sink to the toilet to the shower, the bathroom has plenty of running water to offer. Your cat may also be drawn to the cold surfaces in the bathroom, especially if you live somewhere warm. The porcelain of the toilet or the tile on the floor might be the perfect place for your cat to cool down. Your cat might also just be following you into the bathroom to get a chance to scope it out. If you keep the door closed during the day, your cat might only get a few opportunities to explore the bathroom by following you inside. Cats are quite curious and they like to be familiar with their surroundings. Since cats are territorial creatures, another possibility is that your cat wants to check in on their territory if their litter box is in your bathroom. Number three, showing you their belly. As every cat guardian knows, a cat showing you their belly can almost feel like a trap. While it may seem like an invitation for you to rub their belly, most cats will react negatively if you try to do so. So why do they even show you their belly in the first place? Your cat's stomach is one of the most vulnerable parts of their body, so they are quite protective over it. By showing you their belly, your cat is telling you that they trust you completely. They feel safe enough around you to be vulnerable, and they trust that you are not going to let any harm come their way. Now don't you feel honored? Number four, getting the zoomies. The zoomies refers to when a cat gets a sudden burst of energy and begins to run around. A cat with zoomies may run around from room to room or jump up and down on the furniture. The most surprising part about the zoomies is that they usually come out of nowhere. One minute your cat will be perfectly calm and next they will be bouncing off the walls. Dogs are also known for getting the zoomies. Luckily, this is a perfectly normal behavior that has several different explanations. It may be a way for your cat to get out any pent up energy or it might be an expression of excitement or joy. Zoomies are especially common as a reaction to catnip. Number five, kneading. Kneading, also known as making biscuits, is a well-known and beloved cat behavior, though it can look a little weird at first. Kneading is when a cat moves their paws back and forth in a motion that is similar to that of kneading bread, hence the name. Cats often knead on soft items like blankets or pillows or even their guardians. There are a few different theories surrounding why cats knead. Some suggest that it mimics the movement of kneading at their mothers for milk as kittens, while others say it is a form of communication. Either way, it seems to be a form of affection. It is often described as a comfort behavior and is usually performed when a cat is feeling relaxed or content. Number six, knocking objects to the floor. Cats seem to get strange pleasure out of knocking things to the floor. Whether it be books on your shelf or your new set of Legos, some cats love to knock things down. This cat behavior can be both puzzling and frustrating, especially if your cat is targeting more fragile items. Typically knocking objects over is a sign of boredom. It is an indication that your cat is feeling restless and needs to be engaged. If your cat is frequently knocking things over to a point of disruption, you should consider implementing changes into their routine. Whether it be more designated playtime or more toys, you should provide your cat with plenty of outlets to healthily express themselves. Consider more interactive toys or more engaging playtime to keep your cat occupied and entertained. This way, your cat is mentally stimulated and your things are less likely to get knocked over. Number seven, sticking their butt in your face. When you've just gotten home from a long day of work, your cat's butt might be the last thing you want to see, but that won't stop your cat from sticking their butt right in your face the first chance they get. Your cat is most likely sticking their butt in your face to communicate with you. Your cat communicates with you the same way that it communicates with other cats, though their behavior doesn't always translate in the same way. Cats will greet each other by sniffing each other's butts, as it is a way for them to exchange scents and information. 
So when your cat sticks their butt in your face, they may be inviting you to sniff it as a greeting. Though you don't, and probably shouldn't, take them up on that offer. Your cat may also stick their butt in your face as an indication of trust. The butt is one of the more vulnerable parts of the body, so your cat won't show it to just anyone. By showing you their butt, your cat is letting you know that they fully trust you and feel safe around you. So even though it might not initially seem like a compliment, you should take it as one. Number 8. Ignoring you. There are a lot of puzzling cat behaviors, but some of them can even be hurtful if you don't understand what they mean. Ignoring is one of these. Cats will avoid or ignore for lots of different reasons, and it is easy to take it personally. However, chances are your cat just needs some time alone. Like people, cats value their privacy and their space. Your cat needs solitude and space to recharge, and you shouldn't take that as an insult. If your cat is ignoring you, respect their privacy and give them some alone time. Your cat will appreciate it, and you can count on them seeking you out for cuddles or playtime when they are ready. Some cats need more space than others, and you may find that your cat can go from stuck to your side to nowhere to be found in a blink. While this hot and cold behavior can seem jarring, it's important to understand that cats communicate differently than humans. Your cat certainly doesn't intend to hurt your feelings, they just need some time to themselves. However, if your cat has suddenly become very withdrawn, is hiding from you, or is acting very different than usual, you shouldn't ignore it. Sick or hurt cats will often isolate themselves, so it's important to seek veterinary care if you notice your cat is suddenly acting strange and distant. Number 9. Headbutting you. Headbutting is another common cat behavior that can appear strange or unusual. Whether you just walked into the room or were sitting on the couch minding your own business, you may notice your cat coming up and bumping their head into you. This is known as headbutting or bunting. This little boop is your cat's way of affectionately saying hello or just letting you know that they love you. There is a scientific reason behind the headbutt. It is known as aloe rubbing. This refers to the behavior of rubbing against objects or people to spread pheromones. Cats have scent glands that release pheromones all over their bodies, but they are concentrated in a few specific areas, including the top of their head. So when they bump their head into you, they are marking you as their own with their pheromones. Headbutts are some of the cutest, but some of the strangest ways that cats say I love you. If your cat doesn't give you headbutts though, don't worry, there are plenty of ways that cats communicate love, and the headbutt is just one of many. Number 10. Staring at you. Chances are you've noticed your cat lurking from a distance, staring at you from across the room. While this behavior can seem strange and even unsettling at first, it usually isn't an indication of anything negative. Rather, your cat probably stares at you all the time because they like you. They may also be trying to get your attention, whether they want food or playtime. You may also notice your cat staring at you and slowly blinking. The slow blink is one of the classic ways that cats show affection. Slowly blinking is your cat's way of telling you that they love and trust you enough to lower their guard. You can slowly blink right back to your cat to tell them you love them in their language. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, and this is definitely true in the case of cats. Your cat's eyes can tell you a lot about how they are feeling. While staring can be a positive indication, it can also be a sign that a cat is feeling threatened. It is important to look at a cat's overall body language to ascertain how they are feeling. If a cat is staring at you with wide, unblinking eyes and their ears are pinned back, they are hissing or barring their teeth, and their tail is flicking, they are probably feeling anxious or even angry. In that case, it's important to give them plenty of space to both protect yourself and allow them to calm down. Now that we've gone over the list, it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Mac. His guardian says, Mac is a super senior orange tabby who just celebrated his 18th birthday. I adopted him from a local shelter 17 years ago and he's been such a great companion. He's sweet, loves chin scratches, and is so chill that the people at my vet always fawn over him. Congratulations, Mac. Keep being possum. If you went to your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, does your cat do any of these weird things when they see you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.